Let's make a cool bouncy object that bounces you up like a geyser or a spring or a trampoline, something like that. So go and find the object that you want to use. In this case, it's the geyser. And it's quite small in there next to the ladder. Select that and place it into your level. Now we're going to go add a script to it. And we want to think about what we want this to do. We want it to detect when it touches the player only on its top side. And we also want it to be immovable, like a solid object, so it doesn't go flying away. So let's say when I'm created, and then from physics, we want to uh, make it immovable, so it can't be pushed around. And we're also going to disable its left and right collisions, so it can only be collided from the top. Collision sides are under the collision subheading. Set left side collisions to false. And let's also set right side collisions to false. Now we want to detect when it's touched from the top when the player lands on it. So we want to go to physics and we want when I'm touched, get toucher. And then we'll check if it was touched on the top side by an object. So we'll go to control flow, grab that if. And then from physics, under that collision section again, we can check if it was touching if it's touching on the top side, if touching on top side. And if it's touching on the top side, it's going to send a message to the toucher. So whatever falls and lands on it, it's going to receive a message. So we go to events, and our message sending stuff is down the bottom here. We want to send the toucher a message with some information attached. That's going to be how strong the bounce is. So let's say send y velocity to uh, a not instance object, that's just the default, change object to toucher. Remember this block uh, saves the toucher as toucher, so we're using that instance variable. Send y velocity to instance toucher with, and then that's going to be our number for the uh, to change the y velocity of whatever touched it. And let's make another variable for that. So we'll go to variables. We want to make a, uh, a property. It'll be start out as true false i. Uh, we'll change it to number and we will make a new variable. We'll call this um, y velocity boost. And we'll pop that in there. So that'll get sent to the toucher.